a quartz formation from the Olwena deposit in the Congo. Now, um, when I saw this piece, I gave it a good clean, and this is what we, I, I thought we'd find this. Most likely some epidote trapped inside these quartz crystals. Now, these quartz crystals were branded by one of our local dealers as a, a, a asylum quartz. So this would be the so-called asylum quartz. Uh, there's still a little bit of uh, a, a lack of clarity as to what the inclusion in these quartzes is. <coughs> but I'm going to go with epidote on this with most likely some girthite as well or iron in stages of oxidation. So with a strong light you can actually see right through it to see my finger behind there. And then inside we have these inclusions of the, the, the epidote needles sitting inside there. Termination is pretty much intact. There's a secondary growth, uh, uh, maybe of quartz, on these on these faces, which are also found rather interesting, making an underlying patterning. And then, of course, from this angle, we can more clearly see the the inclusions, the lovely little epidotes sitting inside there, a whole whole family of epidotes. Have a look there, going through there. And uh, so, let's look at the crystal faces, pretty much intact, going right around. So, swing it over this way. All the way from the Elwena deposit in the Congo. So this wouldn't be from the Katanga. This is actually from the Congo. I think the, the, the southern part of the Congo, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, close to, well, where the citrines, close to the deposits where the citrines come out.